Welcome to Vitality Communications. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up 3CX, the IP PBX for Windows, with a Vitality SIP trunk. It's going to be fairly easy. Most of it is going to be done for you, but there's a few steps that we need to be aware of to make sure that we take into account to make sure everything is going to work great. It's going to be very, very simple here. I've already got mine set up here up and running, so I'll show you some of the examples from that. But to get started, we're just going to go to the VoIP providers. We're going to click on Add a Provider. Now, in this case, I am using version 11, and that's an important difference because some of the stuff will be different from version 9 or 10 or up. If you're using version 10, you'll have to go to 3CX's support page and download the Vitality template. If you're using version 11, which is what I'm doing here, this is exactly how this will work. So I'm just going to call this Vitality 1. I'm going to select US for the country. And I'm going to go down to Vitality for the SIP trunk. So pretty simple because Vitality is built in here. Okay, the next step is going to ask for our credentials. And if we go to our portal at Vitality, we'll go ahead, log in. I'm going to go to support and go to generic SIP. This is a very simple way of getting the credentials that we need. And this is actually going to give us all the info that we need here. So I'm going to go to SIP27. Yours may be different, which is why you need to go to the support page and get this information. Okay, and I'm going to paste that into there. And the outbound proxy or IP, we're going to leave blank. Our external number, that's going to be the phone number that is assigned to our account. So if we have our DIDs, Whatever DID is going to be routed to this account, this is what we want to use in here. Now you, can have, you can have multiple DIDs assigned to one account. We just need a, a primary. So I'm just going to use 949. And now it wants my SIP credentials. So again, I'm going to come back over to my support page. Look at my generic SIP. Now, this is not the credentials that I want for this one. What I want to use is my sub accounts. Okay, so I'm going to go to my DIDs, go to sub accounts, and here's my different sub accounts here. So it's going to be whichever one of these sub accounts I want to use. So I'm going to do a tech test because I've got that number forwarded over there. So I'm going to copy that, paste it over there. Grab my password, paste that in over there. We do not use three-way authentication, so you don't need to do that. Maximum simultaneous calls, I like to set for 10. And then I'm going to click on Next. And what I want to do with this call? Well, for now, I'll just have this call go to a ring group. Okay, then it's going to set up the rules. Okay. What rules do I want to dial out? So I'll make this local and long distance. Actually, long distance is easy. I'll show you how to do local calls. So this is going to be calls with a length of seven. It's going to go out Vitality. I don't want to strip any digits, but I'm going to add 949 as my area code. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And now it's mostly up and running. There's a few things that we need to, to add to this. So I'm going to double click on it. So I'm going to go to source ID. I'm going to pull down the SIP field and add contact host part. I'm going to make this a custom field. And I'm going to go back to my Vitality portal. I'm going to go back to that support page. Go to my generic SIP and I'm going to grab that IP address that it gave me. I'm going to come back over here, add to my custom value, click Add Update, 
and then make sure you click OK or apply down below, otherwise it won't save that. Okay, one more step and we'll be done. I'm going to double click on it again. I'm going to go to DID and I'm going to add that DID. You will need to do this for all of the DIDs that are going to this account. So you add it and make sure that you click OK. And at this point, you're up and running with 3CX with a Vitality SIP trunk. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.